This is Dapu7. I want to share with you guys here some very interesting updates and announcements that have been made here coming from a Harvard professor of all people. Now, this is all pertaining to this Amuamua. This is this big object that came through our system in 2017, through our solar system. It was the first interstellar object to ever do so that we knew of. That's incredible in itself. When it went by, they said that it was metallic in nature and that it picked up speed after it went by the sun and it had all these characteristics of being a part of an alien civilization. They were using these words, light cells, alien technology, alien civilization. Over and over again, they were dropping breadcrumbs. Now, if you went and you looked into the name of what they gave this thing, they called it a muamua. It means scout. When it went past the sun, some very strange things happened that are just now being brought to light. And this isn't just my opinion. This is being said from a Harvard professor. Their top tier college of Harvard. This man speaking on this knows a lot. This is Avi Loeb. He is the chair of Harvard's Department of, of Astronomy. This is the top dog. He believes that he has found something connected to extraterrestrials. But what he does is he presents this in a way that he says he believes that it's space junk from an ancient civilization. This is what he is saying boldly right now. I believe it's not junk, and he knows it, because he even explains it in detail. And as we're going to go over here, the object in question had traveled toward our solar system from the direction of Vega. That's a nearby star that's about 25 light years away. And then it intercepted our solar system that took place on September 6th of 2017. On September 9th, its trajectory brought it closest to the sun. And at the end of September, it blasted at about 58,900 miles per hour past Venus. And then out on October 7th, it shot past Earth. And then it moved swiftly toward the constellation of Pegasus, where it disappeared into the blackness. Now, it was first spotted by a telescope in Hawaii, the PanSTARRS system. This is the highest definition telescope on Earth. And they still are trying to tell us they couldn't get a clear picture of this thing. They could just kind of detect that it was there. So I still want to see whatever they got. But they give you these really, really distant shots from this thing right here that look like this with that circle around it. I'm like, uh-uh. You've got something better. I know it. So this is what they go on to say. They say that the object dubbed a muamua, which means scout, is about 100 yards long. This is very interesting. So now we've got almost an exact size on this, but the size of a football field. So this object that's up there, they're saying, was the first ever interstellar object inside of our system. Now, they say that when they track its trajectory, it did something that it never should have done. First, they thought it may be a comet or something that they could classify as that. But they say, no, that, that can't be the case because of the, the things that were going on with it. They were like, first off, this thing is rotating. It's spinning every eight hours. It has a, a reflectiveness that shows them, like on its brightest side, that it's going in motion. It's like rotating perfectly at a perfectly timed rate. These are the breadcrumbs they are dropping. Okay. It also is super reflective. He even says that the reflectiveness that you see off this is not something that you would see off of even the shiniest rocks in the solar system. He goes, it's more like a shiny metal. Harvard professor is saying this. Is anyone out there listening is the thing. He goes on to state, 
more things about the size in the the dimensions of this that it could be disc shaped in everything so he's putting his neck on the line out here in his name and all this stuff in making these statements and i don't think that it's just on a whim i think this is all part of the rolling out it all started with the announcement of space force and people laughed at it couldn't even believe it was real did you guys miss the live stream the other night? Did you miss the lady that called in? What she said about the moon? She works for the company that's going there to install 4G? Look it up. Look it up. She called in and has dropped all kinds of knowledge about what's going on with the moon. Um, very interesting. We are shifting into a new paradigm here. And there is a race between several nations to see who can set up dominance in key positions. Whoever controls space is controlling the whole front. And the moon is critical. Whoever controls the best places on the moon is going to have the advantage. And right now, China's got it. They've leapfrogged in front of us. They've got the Jade Rover up there. They're on the back side of the moon and nobody knows what they're doing. They're making moves, man. So, this is beyond... A fake moon landing, as the lady called in and said the other night, the fake moon landing was one thing, but the advanced technology and everything that's happened since then, there's big things going on. So if you missed that stream, make sure to get over here and check it out. You're missing a lot. We're going live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern, and I've always got replays running as well. Follow me on Parlor as a news feed and hit that subscribe button here on YouTube as well. Much love, y'all.